and welcome to the third part of my video about the guards counter-attack scenario the first scenario for the full advanced squad leader and in this video I'm trying to explain the basic rules for this system we are starting turn 2 and again Soviets are attacking so let's go and, go and do rally phase so Soviets can rally uh, all their units with uh, commanders on the hex and they can also rally one unit that has no self-rally capability. Let it be this unit. It has morale of 8. <coughs> there is plus 1 because of the self-rally and minus 1 because of the building. So we have uh, modifiers of 0 and oh, uh, hell. It is 9, so nothing. We have one more thing to do here. We have a unit with a morale of 4 and with desperation morale marker. But there is a commissar here. Commissar is a nice unit, that, a nice commander, uh, who allows you to ignore your desperation morale marker during rallying. But, if you will fail your rally attempt with your Commissar on your, on, on your Hex, <coughs> you have to suffer a quality reduction. So, let's go and make a morale check. Oh, I rolled 3. Great. So, he is fine. This is only a half squad. But, at last, he's fine. Okay, who is going to be next? Let me think. I think that's all for Soviets. I have no more broken troops on the Soviet side. We can go to Germans. <coughs> I will start here. Let's go with the <coughs> with this uh, commander. Uh, he has eight, and he is broken, so he has to add plus four to the die roll. It is seven. Seven plus four. It is eleven. Plus one because of the comma of the uh, building. Uh, sorry, uh, plus one because of the self rally. Minus one because of the building. So no, he is not able to rally himself. Now, this commander tries to rally all the units on this hex. So first, this wounded commander. He has morale of nine, but because he's wounded, his morale is eight. So let's make a roll. We have minus two because of the commander who helps uh, him rally, uh, minus one because of the building. So it's minus three, it is six, plus two, sorry, plus four, and uh, minus two and minus three. So it's seven. So he is fine. He remains wounded, but he is not broken anymore. And now he tries to rally the unit, uh, the squad below. He gets 8, min plus 4, so it's 12, minus 1, so minus 2, so it's uh, 10, and minus 1, so it's 9. So we have 9, but he has 6. So he remains broken, but not <coughs> with desperation morale. I think that's all when it comes to the rally phase. Oh no. No, we have one more broken squad here. Let me roll. They have plus four because of the <coughs> desperation morale, minus one because of the building, so it's plus three. Nope. They remain broken, <coughs> but we can remove desperation morale marker. All right, that's all when it comes to the rally phase we go into the prep fire phase. Who's going to fire first? I think this Soviet squad will try to fire at them. <coughs> I have 12 plus 3. So it is <coughs> 12 plus 3 and oh wow it is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 in the 12 is 1 MC. So <coughs> morale check plus 1. We have 10 10 plus 1, it is 11. So we are within the range of Morale plus ELR, so they suffer no reduction, 
but even so they are broken. Alright, prep fire. Next, this stack fires at them. I have 18 plus 3 and minus 2. So it's 16 plus 1. It is 5, that's good. 5 plus 1, so it's 6. 6 in the column of 16 is 2MC. So we have morale check plus 2. No good for Germans. And we have 6. So 6, first we have to make a roll for Soviet Sniper. He's sleeping. And we have 6. It was plus 2. I believe, yes, it was plus 2. So they are broken. Alright, that's all here. Next, I will try to make a fire here, but not with the entire stack. I will fire only with this uh, commander and this uh, squad with light machine gun, but I will leave this one squad intact. Sorry, unused. So I'm firing with 8 plus 3 minus 1. So it's 8 plus 2, and it is a miss. No good. I'm preparing myself to, for, the, for the assault on this building. Next here, I'm going to fire but only with these two squads, so I will have 12. 12 plus 3. My target is this hex. So it's 12 plus 3. And it is 6. So German uh, sniper is sleeping and this is covering so we move from the 6 uh, from the uh, sorry from the uh, 12 12 to 8 so we are using column of 8 and 6 plus 3 is 9 so it's pin test check for Germans they are pinned I hoped to bra break them but well <laughs> and here prep fire Anyone else wants to fire? I believe yes. I am making a fire group here with all these four squads, so I have 16 and I'm firing onto this hex. So it's 16 plus 3. It is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. So it's 7 in the column of 16. It is 2MC. Hmm. Soviets are lucky. And Germans are not. <laughs> 11, 11 plus uh, 3. Oh well. So they are broken and they also suffer uh, quality reduction. So we have to find second line squad, replace them and break them. And mark all these Russians with prep fire. And them. And I think that's all when it comes to the Soviet prep fire phase. Yes, that's all when it comes to the Soviet prep fire phase. Let's go to the Soviet movement phase. I will start here. I'm making assault movement onto this hex. Now these Germans might declare firing at me, and they do. They have four. <coughs> they have their. Uh, they, they are pinned, but since they are firing on the adjacent hex, <coughs> then uh, they have uh, their strength doubled. So they are firing with seven. So it's six minus one because I am in the open ground. They, there is 7 minus 1, it is 6. 6 in the column of 6 is 1MC, so it's one morale check plus 1. I made it, it's 5, so uh, I can pre place prep fire. Here I am placing 
residual fire of two, and they, they are able to fire again, because I spent all my movement points to enter this hex. So they decide to do so. Now they are firing with uh, three, so their firepower is two, minus one. They got seven. Uh, seven uh, plus uh, seven uh, minus one, so it's six. Uh, six in the column of two is pin test check. So I have to make a pin test check, and now Soviets are pinned. And flip on the final fire. They they might still do their final protective fire. But, it, but you remember it would be, be uh, also <coughs> result with uh, infantry fire roll making us their uh, morale check. So no, they are not going to do it. Next thing is here. I am making um, assault movement onto this hex. This would be extremely risky action, but I would try to. I, I'm going to try to do so anyway. So they are all firing on them. It is 4, 7, 11, 14, 18. So it's 18 minus 1. This is going to be hard. And we got 9. <coughs> 9 minus 1 is 8. 8 in the column of 16 is 1 MC. So Soviets have to do... And they made it! Amazing! I am really impressed. Never expected them to do so. I was almost certain that they will be uh, evaporated with this fire, but no, they made it. So we have to place <coughs> 8, because it was 16, and first fire. <coughs> and they decide to fire again, because they want to. They, they feel ashamed that they missed. So uh, now <clears throat> their strength is 2, 4 and 6. So they are firing with 6 and minus uh, <clears throat> 1 and they got 8. 8 <clears throat> minus 1 is 7. 7 in the column of 6 is normal morale check. Soviets are pinned. At last they are stopped, because when they are pinned they won't be able to advance onto the <coughs> hex with the, with the Germans. So we flip it on the final fire and that's all for them. Next here. I am making my movement here. That's all, nothing more. I cannot enter this hex because there is enemy unit, so I can't. I have to wait till the advance advance phase. Now here, this squad goes to here. Anyone can see them, only them, and they already uh, fired with final protective fire, so they can only fire on the adjacent hexes. So no one can see them. Next, they are moving here. Also, only one can, only, only them can see them. One, two, three, four. And now they can see him. What do we have here? This squad is broken and commanders cannot fire all by themselves. So no, and they have final fire, so all, they, all, they still can only fire on the adjacent hex. And them, they are broken. So no, no one can see them. Let's carry on. One, two, <clears throat> that's three, four, and one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So that's all for them. Now, <clears throat> they will try to make <clears throat> assault movement sorry, not a, not a sound movement, uh, but dash into this building. So they are moving here, and now they can fire at them. They have four, two, they have two, but since they are dashing, they have one. So they have one with minus two. 
Oh, it is 10 minus 1, <coughs> it is 9, 9 in the column of 1, it is a miss. So they can move here easily. And here we are placing residual fire and they get fi first fire. This squad wi without a commissar goes here <coughs> and these Germans might, might fire on them. They, de they decide to do so, so they have 4 <coughs> plus 2 because of the building and minus 1 because of the non-assault movement. So it's uh, 4 plus 1 it is 6. Oh, so let's roll for Soviet sniper. A small sniper awakes. Where is Soviet sniper? Oh, here. So let's see. First for where he goes. It is 4. And when? Well, it is 6. So he goes <coughs> in, the, in the direction of 4, in the range of 6. Well, this means he goes overboard. So he has to stay here. And the closest hex is here, so he returns where he was, and now he attacks this uh, <coughs> hex again. We have to make a random selection. 1, 2, 3, uh, squad, 4, 5, 6, commander. So squad is pinned. Nothing serious. I was more afraid that he was, he's going to hit a commander who is already wounded, so he would have to make a one more wound check, and this time... Uh, with the modifier plus one, because when you are wounded you, you get a plus one for any other wound check. So that's all, and now here. We have six uh, plus one, so it's seven, seven in the column of four, it is pin test check for Soviets. Eleven, they are pinned. There is residual fire of two, and first fire on Germans. Since Soviets ha had to spend two movement points to enter here, enter this hex, then German player may, may fire at them again, so he does, and he fires with the firepower of two, with modifier of one. He got five. Five plus one is six. Six in the column of two is pin test check. And they are already pinned, so we don't get anything, and they are final fired. All right, anyone else wants to do go? I think they... Uh, this half squad bypasses here, one point, two, he enters this hex. So this German squad, half squad, fires at them. They have two, so they have one, because this is subsequent fire. So they have one and minus two. Let's see. Oh, seven minus two is five. With the column of one, it is pin test check for Soviets. Soviets are pinned. And one and they are first fired. They are broken. They might also fire at them. They have two, so they have a big, higher chance to hit. So they are firing uh, with two and minus two. Let me see if this will work. Oh, hell! We got two, minus two, in the column of two. <laughs> so, First, this is covering, because we got snake eyes, so we move to the column of one, and our result is zero. Zero is one key A, so one killed in action, so this Soviet half squad is eliminated completely. And we have to mark these Germans with first fire. Okay, that's all for the German movement phase, sorry, for the Soviet movement phase. Next is <coughs> defensive fire phase. Any German units that might <coughs> do any defensive fire? I believe no, because all of them has final fire, so they cannot fire. They are broken, they are broken, they are broken. 
<coughs> they are pinned and they haven't anyone in their fire uh, range so no no one uh, on the german side uh, can fire yes none of them can fire so we can remove this final fire markers and we can go to the advancing fire phase so uh, any soviet units might do advancing fire yes first them they have six they are firing on the adjacent hex so they have six it is halved because of the advancing fire and then it is doubled because of the <coughs> of the uh, adjacent hex so it's six again and we get plus one because of their assault fire ability so they have seven and now we are rounding it up to the <coughs> closest column so it is eight so they are firing at them with the firepower of eight and plus three because of this stone building. Nope, it is a miss. Now them, they are firing onto this hex. They have uh, uh, each of them six. It is halved because of the uh, advancing fire, so it is three plus one because of the assault fire, so it is four. So each of them has four. So they have totally of 12 against plus 3 because of the stone building. So it is 3, it is 12 plus 3. It is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 in the column of 12 is 1 MC. Okay, this might be interesting. Uh, it is. Uh, so we have 3 squads here. First, first squad, 6. It was 1 MC, so they are pinned. We have to make a roll for our Soviet sniper. He's sleeping. Second squad. Six again. <laughs> One more roll for Soviet sniper. Oh, we, awoke, we woke up big sniper. Uh, it is six plus one, so it's seven. So <clears throat> the second squad is pinned as well. And now let's go to the uh, big sniper. Where he goes? One. And how many hexes? Four. One is here, so... Oh, oh, oh. One, two, three, four. And enemy units uh, here, here and there. They are all in the same, same range. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One. So he goes here. And since it is big sniper, then he breaks this squad. And finally, final roll for, the, for this uh, squad here, for the last squad. Ten plus one, it's eleven. So they are broken. Okay, that was close. <laughs> that was close. Okay, and uh, we have to mark them with prep fire. They are pinned, so it will be hard for them to make any successful fire, but they might they might try. Let them see. They have two they have four so it, they are halved because of the uh, advancing fi uh, advancing fire so they have two they are halved again because of the pin so they have <coughs> one and they they are uh, doubled because they are firing on the adjacent hex so they have two so it's two next them <coughs> they have six they are halved because of the advancing fire so it's three they are halved because of the pin, so it's one and half. <clears throat> now we have to add plus one because of the advancing fire ability, sorry, assault fire ability, so it's uh, two and half. And we have to round it up to the closest column, so they, they have four. Oh no, sorry, I made a mistake. <laughs> uh, first, they have to, uh, they have they are halved because of the uh, uh, advancing fire phase, so they have three. Next. They are halved because of the pin, so they have uh, one and half. 
Next, they are uh, doubled because of the firing on the adjacent hex, so they have three again. And now, after all these uh, uh, modifications, we add plus one, so they have four. So we have four and two. So they have total of six. So six plus three. Not an easy shot. Oh, four and we have plus three, so it's seven. Seven in the column of six. It's normal morale check. Interesting. And we got eight. So these Germans are broken. I hardly believe it. But they made it. Okay, and who's going to... <clears throat> anyone else is going to do any assault fire? Advancing fire? I believe no. Okay, so that's all for the advancing fire phase. Next we have a, <clears throat> a road phase. Okay, so this German unit roads here and <clears throat> they want to reach this building but uh, they are in the line of sight of these two Soviet units so they have to make an uh, interdiction roll. They got seven. Their morale is seven, so they are fine, and they are routing here. <clears throat> Next, this unit. They rally, uh, they route here, but again, interdiction roll because of this unit, that unit. So let's make an interdiction roll, and it's six, so they made it, and now they are going to route here because there is commander here, so they will be able to rally. Next, them. They are also rallying onto the hex with the commander. And we have already three units here. This is bad. <laughs> okay, and they, they don't want to rally. And so they, they don't want to rout. Of course, they would be uh, they would be able to go here, but they would overstack this hex, and it would be a problem for us if the Soviets would fire onto this hex. So I will let them stay where they are, and I think I don't have any other units to route. Let me check. No. No, that's all for the road. Next we have a Germ uh, Soviet advance phase. And now where Soviets are going to advance? First here, of course. They, they are going here. They are moving here. They are moving here. And they are moving here. They are going here. They cannot, because they are pinned. They are moving here. They are moving here. They are moving here. They. They go here. They cannot, because they are pinned. This squad goes here. And that's all for the <coughs> Soviet uh, movement phase. The, sorry, advanced phase. And next we have a close combat phase, but again, no close combat, we don't have any uh, units of both sides on the same hex. And we, uh, this concludes uh, turn uh, one, sorry, uh, Soviet actions in the turn two. We can remove pin markers and start uh, German actions. Let's carry on with the rally phase first. And first are Germans, of course. So, I will start here with this guy, he might self-rally himself. Oh, <laughs> that was unlucky roll. 11, so he remains broken. And his guys cannot uh, rally. Okay, who's going to next? Uh, they are fine. I will try to self-rally them. I might try to self-rally one unit, so I will try to self-rally them. Oh, I, they have uh, this Desperation Morale marker, so it will be hard. Five? Nope. 
they remain broken. At last we can remove this desperation morale marker. They cannot rally and we cannot remove this desperation morale because there's an uh, enemy unit on the adjacent hex. Next here we have a lot of stuff to do. First, this squad, they, are, they don't have a desperation morale marker, so let's try to rally them. It is 7, so uh, it is, yes, so they, we can rally them. It is minus 1 because of the bu building and we have a commander, so it is not a self-rally, so they are alright. And now we have this unit with uh, desperation morale marker on. So we have plus four and minus one, so it's plus three. Five plus three, it's eight. So no, they are not rallied. Next we have this unit. They have morale of seven and again plus three. Nope, nothing, they remain broken. This is bad. Next here, we have one broken unit and they are adjacent to the enemy so we have to keep uh, this uh, desperation morale marker. And next uh, here, we can remove desperation morale marker. And finally here, we have a commander and uh, this squad is broken so we have to try to rally them. And because there is enemy unit here uh, uh, on the adjacent hex, so they have to keep to have a uh, desperation morale marker. So they have plus four because of desperation morale, minus two because of the commander, and minus one because of the building. So it's plus one. So the chance is solid, uh, but not with such a rolls. <laughs> it is 12. At, uh, rolling 12 with uh, rally means K. So uh, they have to suffer a quantity reduction. They are not only remain broken, but they are also halved. And since they are half squad, this means that they are eliminated. Oh hell. That was bad. I think that's all when it comes to the German uh, rally stuff. And now Soviets. Do I have any Soviet units that would uh, remain, uh, uh, that would need a rally? Only them, and they cannot rally because they can. They have no self rally ability, and there is no commander on the same hex, so they have to remain where they are, and they remain broken. So that's all for the German uh, rally phase. Next, we are moving to the German prep fire phase. I will start here. I make a fire group with these two half squads and they are firing onto this Soviet squad. So they have four and they got eight. Eight with four is nothing. It is a miss. Prep. Prep. And now <coughs> here. here. Here our situation is much more problematic. I have four and seven, so I have eleven, and <coughs> I will going. I am going to fire onto them. So I have eleven, and my strength is doubled because I'm firing on the adjacent hex. So I have twenty-two. Now this is going to be hard for Soviets, and we get five. Wow, five in the twenty in the column of twenty is four MC. Oh my. Let me see if Soviets will survive this. Hell! <laughs> Hell! Lucky Soviets! Stalin is looking at them. Uh, it is 4 plus 4, so they are only pinned. Okay, now here. I have a squ half squad with light machine gun and they are going to fire at them or them them because there are two squads of course so I have five all the other units are broken here so they have five so we are using column of four and five in the column of four is one MC okay so first first roll for the upper squad 
8. It was 1 MC, so they are broken. Good. And uh, the other squad, we have 3, so they are all right. So I will place them above. All right, and I think that's all when it comes to the Germans. They cannot fire anywhere anywhere else. Yes, they cannot. So uh, next we go to the uh, to the German movement phase. And any German units that are going to move. I think these commanders here. Leaving them here would be pointless. They would be killed quickly. So this commander makes assault move... Uh, no. They are both moving here. They are both moving here because they are safe. No one can see them. And they will. And I, I will need one of them here, but I, I will move him during the advance phase. So let them stay here, but no. <laughs> I, I was naive. These Soviets can see them. At last they are pinned. So they have the, their strength 3. So they are firing with the firepower of two, and Germans make as made assault movement onto this hex. So uh, they have uh, two plus one. Yes, that's two with plus one. And Soviets get seven plus one. It's eight. Eight in the column of two is nothing. So first fire and a residual fire of one. I think that's all when it comes to the German mo movement. Yes, that's all. We have no more German units to move, so we can finish German movement phase and go into the Soviet defensive fire phase. This is going to be hard now, because Soviets are... well, Soviets are doing fine. <laughs> Let's make it... put it straight. Okay, so... I am going to fire onto this hex with all these units. They are going to form one big fire group. So, 6, 12, 18, and, uh, and 1. So it's 19. I will add them as well. They will have 3, because they are firing on the, on the unit which is in the 3 hexes range. So I would have totally of uh, 22. Let me check once. Once again. 3, 9, 15, 21, 22. Sorry, 23, because they are firing on the adjacent hex, but they are uh, pinned. So, so it's 22. 22 plus 3. So I'm using column of 20 and the, modif and the plus 3 modifier. It is 7, plus 3 is 10, 10 in the column of 20, it is 1 MC. So it's morale check with plus 1 modifier. I have 3 units here, so first of them, 7 plus 1, it is 8. So they are broken. Other second squad, 8 plus 1 is 9. So they are broken. And the last squad. Oh hell. 10 plus 1, so 11. They are already broken. So this means they suffer a quantity reduction. They are turned into half squad. This is no good. So all the German units on this hex are now broken. Let's place final fire markers all over here. Okay, next. Uh, any other Soviet units that are going to fire? Yes. They, 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 they and them are firing here, so they have 12 plus 3. Oh wow! It is 3 plus 3, so it's 6. 
6 in the column of 12 is 2mc. This might end with disaster. First, this commander plus 2. 7 plus 2 is 9. He is broken. Next, this half squat. 8 plus 2 is 10. They are broken. Oh well, I feel sorry for these poor Germans. Next, this squat and that squat. Both of, both of them are broken with morale of 7. So first, what, first of them, 5 plus 2, they are fine. And the other, 6, uh, sniper activation number, 4, sniper is sleeping. 4, 6 plus 2, they are, they suffer uh, qu uh, quantity reduction. We have to replace them with broken half squat. And they are uh, placed with desperation morale, uh, uh, they are marked with desperation morale. So, all the German units here are broken now. This is huge pyramid of the broken uh, units. Who's going to fire next? Them. They are going to make a fire group with these three units to fire onto this hex. They have four and they are firing on the adjacent hex so they have eight. And they, they have four so it's twelve and four so it's sixteen. So they are firing here with sixteen plus 3 it is 7 plus 3 it is 10 10 in the column of 16 it is normal morale check so Germans have to go undergo normal morale check they get 10 so they are they suffer quantity reduction I need uh, first first line half squat where it is well, that's, that's what happened. When you need something, you cannot find it. Oh, finally. And final fire for summits. Here, here, and here. Okay. That's all for the fi defensive fire phase of the Soviets? I believe yes. I believe that none other Soviet units uh, see anyone. They might try to uh, do something uh, effectively. Uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I believe they can see them. Yes, they can see them. So they might try to fire. I have 8 plus 3. Not an easy shot, but if I will hit this massive stack of broken squads, then it will be a really disaster. I have six, so it is covering, but first a sniper roll. Sniper is sleeping, so it's three. Plus three, it, uh, so I have to cover. So I move from eight to six column, and I have plus three, so it's nine. Nine, it is nothing. Okay, so that's all when it comes to the... Uh, Soviet uh, defensive fire. Uh, yes, that's all. Okay, advancing fire phase. I believe Germans have no much, not much uh, options to fire since most of their units are broken and only a very few that are not broken have prep fire already. So we can all, all we can do is to remove these prep fire markers and to go into the road phase. And Oh shit, here we go again. <laughs> so, they have to rally. And rallying here might be a very bad idea. I will overstack this uh, stack. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, try uh, to go up with all this uh, stack. They are rotating here. And this unit rotates there. This pyramid grows even bigger. 
<coughs> next these guys are routing here huh. it, it looks very bad okay that's all as for Soviets we, I have only one Soviet unit which is broken and they wrote here and that's all for the road phase. Next we have advance phase. So, any uh, German units that are going to do any advance? Uh, ad uh, advance? No, they cannot. So, we go into the close combat phase and we have no close combat opportunity. So, let's remove this pin and let's finish turn 2. Yes, we are into turn 3. And I think that situation is, uh, well, very hard for Germans. I'm not sure if, if they can even uh, play anymore. I mean, they can still try to rally this stack. But rallying this stack might be a trouble because Commander is broken as well. So even so, this, this, uh, this, bu this building is probably already lost for uh, Germans. Soviets will take it. Uh, in this in next turn without much problems this building is uh, already captured so i think i might play a little more but i think we will be able to call it a day in the in the next turn let's start it and let's play uh, rally phase so soviets are first to rally their troops so i will try to rally this broken squad seven they are fine. I have plus one because of the self rally and minus one because of the building. So they are fine. And now Germans. <laughs> I will start with this commander. He's, tr he's trying, to, trying to rally himself. Nine. Nope. <laughs> what an unlucky commander. He remains broken. Now this commander tries to rally this stack. I have one. I have a lot of broken units here. Let me try. First unit. 9, plus 4, minus 2, minus 3 because of the building. Nothing. Let me check. Nope. They. 6. They are rallied. So I can place this marker and them 9 uh, it is minus 2 because of the commander minus 3 because of the building and plus 4 be, sorry min minus 1 because of the woods and plus t uh, 4 because of the uh, desperation morales so no they remain broken so we managed to rally one unit this is no good I can of course re remove desperation morale markers, but Soviets will come here in no time, I believe. And finally this stack, I might try to rally my commander, because he has a self-rally opportunity. And he made it! 3 plus 4, 7, he is fine. So he might try to, actually, to rally his broken units. Sadly, he has no modifier, so let's try. First unit, 6, plus 4, nothing. Let's remove the Desperation Morale marker. Second unit, they have no Desperation Morale. 6, so we have to make a roll for Sniper. We get 6, so nothing. And 6, so they are fine. No, sorry. They wrote it. And uh, only units with Desperation Morale Marker can wrote. So no, they cannot... Uh, they, they have to... They had to have uh, Desperation Morale. So we had six. So no, they remain broken. And this unit... It has six plus four. And minus one. Ten, they remain broken. Okay, that's bad.
and what more we can remove this desperation morale marker here and the desperation morale marker from there that's all we can do they are all broken so I believe that their fate is already sealed okay so that's for the that's all for the rally phase next we go into the prep fire phase and now uh, what so if are Soviets going to fire anywhere I believe they they would rather opt to move instead of firing at everyone around because they want to capture these buildings so they are not going to make uh, much much fire I think all I'm going to do is to make a fire group with this, this squad, that squad and that squad so I will have 12 and I am firing at them so I have 12 plus 3 I have 7 plus 3 is 10 10 in the 12 is pin test check so let's do 8 yes this half squad is pinned I am thinking that I might be able to finish this game in this uh, turn that would be a very quick end it rarely happens okay so that's all for the uh, uh, for the prep fire phase and next we go with the movement phase so I am making a movement here this unit makes movement here these are all assault movements because I am moving one hex they are moving here then they are going up the stairs so they move they need two points to enter this building one point to move up the stairs so it's three and then they go up the stairs here so all these be all, all these units will have a uh, desperation morale again because they they are adjacent to the enemy unit and they are all broken same to this unit they are now adjacent to the enemy unit so we need to place desperation morale marker this means they are most they are going to be eliminated i believe <laughs> most of them next here I am making assault movement into this building. Of course these Germans are going to fire at me. They have 7 and they are firing on the adjacent hex so they have 14. They are going to use this commander so they have minus 2. We have 14 plus 3 and minus 2. So it's 12 so it it is going to be a column of 12 with plus 1 modifier and it is 9. 9 plus uh, 1 is it is 10. 10 in the column of 12 is pin test check. Let's make it. It is 6, so they are fine. A sniper. Sniper is sleeping. So let's place um, residual fire of 6. And first fire here. They are going to do it again since it was uh, uh, assault, assault movement uh, so they can uh, fire again they have now 6 minus 2 uh, plus, uh, plus 3 and minus 2 so it's 6 plus 1 let's see if it will be better no it is not we have to roll for a soviet sniper small sniper awakes where he is where is soviet sniper I can see him hell where you are did I put him, put him somewhere else oh no here he is okay so we need to check where he goes one and six so he goes in the direction of one with the range of six so one two three four he goes out of the board and who is nearby? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So he goes here. Let's see if he goes up and down. 
one, two, three, up, four, five, six, down, one, up, and oh my, who, uh, it was small sniper, so he can only hit uh, the commander, so the commander is wounded, because of him, okay, this is going to be a huge stack, And then I need to wound for I need to find a wound marker now. Okay, and I have to roll for severity of the wound. Five. So commander is dead. Oh my. Okay, and uh, that's all. Oh, I, I've been firing here. I had six. Uh, six uh, plus uh, one, so it's seven. So it's seven in the column of six. It is normal morale check for Soviets. They have six, so they survived. Okay. So, uh, that's all. Soviets are making assault movement here. And I think this, this is a moment where we can call it a day. Why? Because Soviets have this building, Soviets have this building, and these units will be forced to get out of this building during the road phase. And they will be eliminated because they cannot road, because they are on the upper level, and this unit on the down level won't be able to move because there are enemy units everywhere on each adjacent hex. So I think this is a moment where we, where we can really call it a day and finish this game. I am surprised how fast uh, how fast it was. It rarely happens uh, to end the end uh, advanced squad leader just in three turns. But at, as you can see, it is possible. So uh, thank you for watching. If you noticed any mistakes, feel free to post them in the comments. I will be grateful, and I might use them when I'm go when I will be making uh, my and other Advanced Squad Leaders videos. As for today, that's all. Thank you for watching and see you again.